Hello everybody, welcome back to another video of Joe Gaston. Today I'm going to be showing you how to mod your own wood exactly like this. Now you can use any type of sawmill you want, but I'm going to use the sawmill that I like the most, which uh, actually <laughs> I don't like the sawmill really. I only have it because I can't get the other one. If you look at my money, that's kind of sad, but um, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and, well first off, you want to get one of these trees. It might take a while to get over there. Actually, it won't because we'll have a little trick up my sleeve. So, <clears throat> you just want to chop this down. And you don't want to chop anything else off. You want to go to the wood drop-off place. And once you go there, it'll be it'll be simpler. But it might take a little bit because the wood, it, it gets really uh, hard at that <laughs> So you guys probably need to ha have some patience, some good stuff. You just need patience for this, honestly. And if you have that, well, you're good to go. <clears throat> so as you can see what I'm doing, I'm just flipping it around. That little glitch where you can hold on to it and then flip it backwards with, with the shift keys. And uh, nothing too special about that. I'm on the little guy that cool because, well, uh, he is kind of cool, if you remember. He, uh, he shows people that, uh, I don't know. He, does it, yeah, I don't know. Oh, oh wait, it got stuck on the building. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so, um, follow, you have to follow my steps. If you don't follow my steps, it won't work for you. <laughs> Uh, the, the, these trees, this tree's a massive tree, if you don't know, because if you can tell, it's really big. And, um, oh, okay, perfect. So now that we're at the wood drop-off, you just, well, you just want to ease it in. Well, what I am what I mean by ease it in is you try to jam it in there. <laughs> it's not really easing in, it's just trying it with brute force. So, uh, yeah, nothing too special about that. Um, oh, it's kind of tricky, but I did it last night on a, on a slower PC because, well, I don't have, I, I don't know, I just, <clears throat> I'm just one of those people that just play on different PCs from time to time for some stupid reason, but um, it should be easier on this, so, uh, Let's go put this in the sawmill. Oh shoot. <laughs> uh oh. That ain't good. We can easily just do this. Get in. Get. <clears throat> uh oh. Okay. Slow and steady. Almost. It's almost there. Okay. Come on. Uh oh. <laughs> Go in. Uh, 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 oh. Oh, it went in. Okay. Um, after it goes in, you um, want to get another one in the sawmill. It needs to be a little piece on it. So, uh, like that big. So the reason why we're not chopping up and putting in the sawmill because there's a thing that's called a it's it's a glitch that I love. I just started using it and it's awesome. So I hope you guys uh, use this glitch to your advantage before it gets patched. Probably will get patched later on in the year or something. I gotta use this. Ex I need to <laughs> I need to use this little uh, not it's not, not exploit but glitch to my advantage. So I can, you know, get some long pieces of wood, build better, and stuff like that. Um, you want to get tree, so like cherry trees will work amazingly. So you you want it to look like this. It doesn't want to have like a chop thing on it, like a white thing of wood. Uh oh. So um, once again, put it in the little wood drop off. Hopefully it gets. Come on. You know you wanna. Oh, oh, I'm in the wood drop off. <laughs> Great. Get in. Come on. Alright, I don't know why that's not processing. Um, <clears throat> maybe we. Uh oh. How did you get over there? I don't know how that got over there, guys, but, like, it did. Um, I'm gonna have to put it in 
facing a different way because that won't work. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> this stuff is really tricky. So do this if you want to. It took me a little bit last night, but if you do this like once or twice, you got the hang of it. Okay, well, let's go ahead and roll this thing down again. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna use the other one because this one's bigger than that. Just by looking at it, you can tell if I don't know. If you look at it, so uh, <laughs> that's kind of common sense, actually. So <clears throat> that's common. Yeah, I don't know. Um, we're at the, we're gonna put this in the wood drop off now. If it'll fit. Okay, we're gonna have to do the little shift stuff. Okay, now go in. Mm-hmm. Oh, grab. Nope. Okay, um, I don't know what the heck is going on with this tree. It looks like it's just not wanting to work with me today. Man, this is annoying. Lumber uh, there are some things about Lumber Tycoon that you got to you need to learn if you want to play this game a little bit more. First off, it's a very laggy game. Second off, there's a lot of hackers. Uh, well, not actually, but yeah, actually, really. Um, play on private servers because, well, there's a lot of hackers if you didn't know. Okay, perfect. Um, <clears throat> now, oh yeah, this game has a lot of glitches, I think. <laughs> well, yeah. Now, I'm gonna put this in. I'm gonna get one of these from it. Go in. Nope. Go in. How much, how far do you have to go to go in? Like, okay. Let's move that. Uh, hopefully this can go in. Oh, yep, there we go. Okay. Um, let's, let, let's save this one. Now we wanna put this in and grab one of these things. I'm gonna grab this one. And then you want to walk it back to your base like you are a cool kid, dad, just, um, I don't know, <laughs> that, that likes this one piece of wood over the entire tree. So you want to put it in the back of your sawmill, because if you put it in the front, it'll glitch out and it won't work. Well, I, actually, I don't know about that, but I'm, I just want to be safe. So, um, oh, it's, that's, that value is three. I did not know that. Okay, let's put this in. Uh oh, nope. Go in. There we go. So guys, <clears throat> um, the reason why this works is if you chop it, it'll say, "Oh well, that log. It's just that log, not the entire tree." So because we put through the thing, there was no like chop marks on it, so it's th saying, "Oh, you're sawing the entire tree. Cool." <clears throat> so guys, um, yeah. I would say that you can definitely use this glitch, but the tree has to have like, I think, what, what tree would work? I don't think um, pine wood would. I know that cherry wood does. That uh, palm wouldn't. It, it might, no. No, that wouldn't. It, the, the palm wouldn't work because it's just like a stem up. It's the same as that. Uh, ice would work, but I don't think it's that worth it for ice wood. And oh my gosh, guys! Oh lord! <laughs> Look how big this thing is! Wow, that's so. Oh my god! <clears throat> Definitely use the glitch. Uh oh. No, this way. Not this way. Ugh. I swear, if this slings off my base after all that hard. Well, not hard work. Just. Not the funnest. W uh oh, get off! Get off the ground! <clears throat> Come here! Come here, wood! No, okay. Um, I mean the middle is right there, so it would save. But I'm gonna put it right here. I I think I'm gonna sell this to somebody if they're cool to buy something this long. Uh, who knows? Um, <clears throat> I could sell this thing for a lot of money. I think. I don't know. I could build with it. I don't know. Um, I don't, tell me which woods would work. I would like to know. I know this one works. So if we reload, <clears throat> oh yeah, guys, um, cool. It's gone with our base, <clears throat> and once we reload, it'll be here. 
Um, I think cherry wood's a better one to get <clears throat> because it gives you a lot more money. So, uh, yeah, you should, yeah, just use this glitch, guys, <laughs> before it gets patched. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. As always, I'll